Mr. Shaw, thanks for taking the meeting with us today. We really appreciate what the Congressman does. He does a wonderful job representing the district. And uh, we've got a friend of ours from the district who's here, uh, Jimmy Patel. He owns a couple of hotels in the Congressman's district. Jimmy, good to see you. Nice to see you too. I mean, we appreciate you uh, taking the opportunity to meet us. Uh, if you're, as you're aware of a whole, 12,500 members nationally. A lot of members are within your region, uh, and matter of fact, I have three hotels within your uh, region, and nationally, 40% of the hotels are owned by Asian Americans, members of our organization, and probably within our region itself, it may, it's probably 50 to 60% of the hotels within the couple of counties that you represent. So we're here, we're here to talk to you about a couple of issues. Okay. HR 1240, the Creed Act, um, sure. related to SBA financing, and we appreciate uh, the congressman sponsoring that bill. Absolutely. Well, you know, my boss is on the Small Business Committee. He's a big supporter uh, of the Small Business Act, or Small Business Administration, and the loan program in particular. And uh, we appreciate your interest in that program. We know it's a big job creator. We appreciate you uh, participating with us and helping us on that issue. Second issue we're going to discuss is HR 1354. Here's a little bit of the information about it. Thank you. It's the Jolt Act. Jobs originated through launching travel. Okay. We've been working on this issue for a few years now with a number of different organizations. Uh, it's all about bringing in international travel back into the United States okay. and getting our fair share, which we've been losing to other countries because of the restrictions with the visa waiver program as well as the actual time it takes to actually get a visa to come here. Sure. So we'd uh, appreciate you looking into that. So I, I guess with uh higher international travel, that's got to impact you, more people coming to stay in your hotels. Yeah. Well, you know, Mr. Shaw, what happens is there are millions of people around the world who would like to come to the United States. They want a vacation here. They want to spend a lot of money here in the hotels, restaurants, entertainment, but they can't get here because the U.S. has made it so difficult for people to get into the U.S. who just want to spend their money here. So this helps with security and it also relieves the burden on international travelers to come to the U.S. In fact, if we still had the same market share that we had 15 years ago, that would be billions of more dollars into our, into our economy. Do, do you know what kind of support it has on Congress? Well, it actually has uh, about 160 co-sponsors. Wow, 160. Well, we, we need to look into that. We've got to see why we're not on the bill yet. We'll make sure we get back with you, Mr. President. And it's bipartisan. Almost half are Democrats, the other half are Republicans. Okay, great. Well, that's good to know. Uh, is there anything else that you're here to talk about? Those are really our two main issues. Uh, they will both result in more jobs, sustaining jobs that we already have and economic growth. And I know the Congressman supports those things for his district and the whole country. So we think these are two pretty simple asks and we would certainly love if he could support both of them. I know he co-sponsored the first one, but the, the JOLT Act is very important to us. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate your coming by and we'll definitely look into 1354 here. Here's my card. Uh, please do give us a call if you have any questions, and we'd love to look forward to following. Well, we Thanks. definitely appreciate you uh, continuing to follow up and work with AHOA. The issues affect small business. A lot of folks within your region working for us as well. So great to have a partnership. That's great. Thanks. Thank you.